Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have an update about a year and a half update on my Speedy 25 bandolier in Damier Bean. Um, I have gotten a few, quite a few requests to do an update on pretty much all the reviews that I've done, so here you go. Um, I want to make sure there's significant, you know, time changes. It's not like month to month because really this isn't a pregnancy, like things aren't going to change that fast. Um, but a year and a half, I mean, that's significant. I think my first update was like a three month update or something, so there may or may not be a lot to report here so if you're interested keep watching if not hopefully i'll see you in my next video um so the number one thing that i think about all the time when i pick up this bag is the smell um uh, most of my other pieces from louis vuitton or i think all of my other pieces have lost their new bag smell you know that like louis vuitton canvas smell that's so delicious <laughs> um this one still smells like that especially when i unzip it let's see <sighs> yeah <laughs> i wish you could smell it too it's pretty strong i mean i have to say this bag what's floating around in here Okay, so I have a few little bits of chunk at the bottom of my bag that are making some noise, but for the most part, this bag looks brand spanking new. I mean, look at it. It's got a nice shine, no obvious wear and tear. Look at it. And you can hear it. It's just as noisy as ever. <laughs> um, so let's just take a look at all of the little details here. So I'm checking out the little canvas bits. Um, and I don't see any scratches or anything. There's no loose threads. None of the sealant around the edges is cracking or just showing signs of any wear and tear, which is awesome. Seriously, wow, nothing. I thought there would be at least a couple scratches or something, but no. Okay, so then I'm looking at the piping around the edge of the bag. This stripe down the side. Still nothing. Let's check out the other side. Anything? Anything? Just dust. Just little bits of dust, but no scratches, no scrapes. I mean, look how shiny. It just looks brand spanking new. The, I, what I am seeing wear and tear on um, definitely is the hardware and I think I was saying that in my other my three month review is that I was even seeing just the lock got um, tarnished pretty quickly and just started discoloring you know looking less shiny and that the, there was a difference in the hardware on the strap versus the hardware that's built into the bag um, and that is still true the hardware that is on the strap is Oh snap, I was going to say it's a lot more gold and it is, but I just noticed a big chunk of the gold totally rubbed off the hardware. Can you see? Forgive my non-manicured naked nails, but can you see the difference? There's a little silver bit like right there. Yep, so that's interesting. I might want to go back to Louis Vuitton and just show that to them. Um, I would hate to have to get a new strap because if you guys know anything about the Damier Bean straps, I mean, they're, st whoops, they're stiff and this one has softened up completely. It's like so comfortable and worn in and I don't want to have to do that to another strap, but I also don't want all of the gold to just chip off my hardware. That's so cheap. I don't like that. Um... So let me look at the other hardware now. Just scratches like normal wear and tear that happens on a lot of the gold pieces. I have more silver wearing off on this other side. I don't know if you can tell. Let's focus. It's like right here. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting with the with the bright light shining, it's kind of hard to tell because of the reflection, but that's there. So maybe I'll go back to the store and talk to them and I'll have to update you guys in another video. But 
Anyways, the hardware on the bag, so that's the hardware that comes on the strap. The hardware on the bag has not done that. It's, just, it's tarnished a little bit, kind of like the lock, but it's not like the gold is wearing off, which that bothers me, so TBD. Um, other than that, the inside is looking great. No issues on the hardware inside. I'm just talking about like the little rivets and the D-ring inside. Everything looks great. Um, no significant stains or dirt or anything like that. The pocket has really stiffened up at first. Um, just like the opening like this. And just this pocket was so stiff. Um, and luckily it's not like that anymore. Thank God. What else? That's pretty much it. I mean, this bag is held up absolutely beautifully. Um, I really have no complaints whatsoever. It is so versatile. Um, I always carry it like this. I have the strap attached without the extender piece in the middle. And I just, I usually carry it as a shoulder bag like this. I think it, it rests at the perfect height to just open it and dig around and get in without having to take it off your shoulder. Um, and then I carry this with me at all times. This is the extender strap. I always have it floating around the bottom of my bag um, because it's, I can't tell you how many times I've stopped in the middle of my day or night or whatever it is and just thrown on the extender piece and worn it as a crossbody and just been so thankful that I have a bag that's that versatile. I mean, usually, or a lot of times bags come either top handle or a crossbody or a shoulder bag. And the fact that this has all three options, I would buy this over and over and over and over again. <laughs> um, and I always now am keeping my eye out and I am really picky with bags now because I use this so much because of its versatility that my other bags aren't getting as much use because it might be fine for me to carry it, you know, uh, with the top handle for like three hours, but then by the end of the night, I don't want anything in my hands. I don't want to have to deal with it. Um, and when I'm stuck with one option, it ends up annoying me. So yeah, I'm just loving this bag. The clip, a few people have asked me about this little clip. Here, let me take it off. So right here, this little D ring and up, that's one piece and it does not come from Louis Vuitton. It comes from Mautdo. Uh, I don't know if that's if I'm pronouncing it the right way, but I did link them in my original review of this bag because I was talking about the tag and the, the luggage tags come like this. It's just the leather piece, the metal buckle, and then leather here. It doesn't come with this attachment, but this company, Mauto, 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 whatever, whatever it is, they make these clips in all different colors and different shapes and sizes to match the hardware on any bag that you want to add it to. So I just got the gold color and I got the small clip attached it to the luggage tag so then I can pop this around if I want to pop it here, here, if I want to put it on my keychain, if I want to put it on a piece of luggage. Uh, it just makes it so versatile. Otherwise, you have to undo this buckle, open the loop and loop it around whatever luggage that you have or handbag and that's annoying. Um, it's also annoying because when you do that, it doesn't lay flat like this against the bag because this loop is wrapped around a strap or something. So it's like if it was around the strap, it just sticks out, it doesn't lay flat. Um, like if I was to loop it around this little bit here, you know, it's just gonna stick out like that versus when it's on a clip, just clip it on and it lays flat. It can swing and flip around and it's not stiff, just hangs so nicely. Hopefully that made sense. I feel like that was a really roundabout way of explaining, but love those clips. If you have any accessories that you're adding to your bags, if they don't have these little clips, check out that website. I'll link it below. Um, I'll find it again and I'll link it for you because you can. I bought multiple clips and they've just been lifesavers. <laughs> um, they're awesome. People ask me about them all the time. So check it out if you're in need. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything more to say about this bag. Still loving it. Still think everyone should get one if you're thinking about it. Uh, the 25 size is definitely the best for me. I'm 5'2". 
I had a 30 before and I got rid of it because not I didn't get rid of it I, it's hard to explain because when I looked at the bag and when I held it and touched it and packed it full of my stuff I loved it I had no complaints but every time I would see myself in a picture or a mirror or a window that I'd be walking by it just looked like the bag was so large especially if it wasn't full if it was kind of flat like this it would like push up against my body and become even bigger and on the 30s when you really pack them this sags down so far that it just looks like a much larger bag and on me you cannot take up that much real estate on my body because then there's like nothing left i mean this is even the 25 look at the drop i mean this is like my whole torso <laughs> so the 30 was even lower and um i don't know it just kind of looked like it was the bag was wearing me and i wasn't wearing the bag so the 25 is definitely a lot more reasonable um would i like it to be bigger i mean yeah I wanted Mary Poppins bag out of all my bags. I just want to be able to fit like an outfit and a wallet and a meal and a water bottle and I want to be prepared for anything but I have to say the 25 is the best size that I have personally used especially for an everyday uh an everyday bag and I use this going out. I never thought I would because I thought it was gonna be a little bit too big because it's kind of like in that medium range between one of those little crossbodies or clutches that everyone wears out in between and compared to like a, a normal purse that you might wear during the day or a handbag so I wasn't sure because it is a little bit thick and you know a lot of times when you're going out and you're dressed up you don't want a big bag you want something like flat and sleek and cute um, but I have actually worn this out more than any of my other clutches or crossbodies um, it just holds so much and it really is not super bold it's not like a statement bag at least the way I wear it so I kind of like that like I want it to fly under the radar so if it is like maybe a little bit too big for the occasion that I'm wearing it to no one really notices <laughs> um but I like that I like that it blends in um if you're not really familiar with Louis Vuitton it doesn't scream Louis Vuitton it doesn't have the big LVs um someone once commented like oh I love that bag it's you know it's so subtle and then I said it was Louis Vuitton and they were like really <laughs> um I know like people don't know but whatever so, I mean, that, there's something to be said. I love this pattern. I'm, like, obsessed with my... I'm looking in the viewfinder, like, that bag looks so nice, doesn't it? It's so shiny and beautiful and smooshy. <laughs> I love it. I love it with the luggage tag. I have not taken this off. I still have the key... Um, the clichette, the little key bell holder, but I haven't ever since I put this on I haven't put that one back on because this is just so much better it's so much more of a statement um I like that my I got my initials stamped on this one I like that this is the big luggage tag actually and not the small one it makes even more of a statement and it just reminds me of like the old school luggage you know what I mean this really looks like a mini tiny little version of the key ball which it is but it's just so cute it's so cute with the tag um and it makes it mine i was talking to my friend and i said if you can get your hands on a luggage tag and get your initials on it for all of your bags or just you know one and you just move it to your bags it makes your handbag more yours you know what i mean because i can't put my initials on the bag or you could but i don't want to but so many people have these bags that any little kind of bag charm or something special that you can add to your bag that makes it more you and more yours to me that makes it special and I so I told her I was like this is why I like having the luggage tags on my bags because it makes them mine and it's something special and it's personalized but then um, as a collector goes if it's something like this that's removable you're not killing your resale value like if you ever do want to sell these bags and you have your initials stamped you know somewhere on the bag directly it's really hard I mean if you're if I had MJ stamped here and I was trying to resell this bag what are the chances that someone who doesn't have those initials is gonna want to buy this bag so automatically your market you know your 
the people that are gonna buy this bag that shrinks and then the price you can sell it for really goes down as well so think about that uh, do I discourage stamping no if you think you're gonna have that bag forever stamp whatever the heck you want all over it stamp all over it do whatever you want to do um, I really would love to have my Goyard painted you know how they do that um, and they can paint stripes and your initials and sometimes um, they'll do this special events at stores where they'll have like painters come in and do graphics I've seen uh, so I love basically I love anything personalized and if you can make it yours make it yours it's so special um, so yeah, anyways, that was quite the rant. Uh, but if you have any questions, comments, or anything on this bag or this video, leave them below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.